We live in such a modernized world that sometimes it's just nice to take a step back and really assess who we are as an individual. In the blink of an eye, we can be thousands of miles from home. Meeting individuals for the first time, we feel like we've known our entire lives. See, this modern world, I'm proud to be a part of. And that's what makes hunting with the trad bow so special. drop down into this water hole that we wanted to check out. Last night was pretty uneventful, but we kind of scrambled to get out since we just flew in yesterday. So today's the first official day here hunting with them Dizzle. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, man, this place is beautiful. I'm, I'm just stoked to be here and, and see this country. So Utah is probably the prettiest place I've ever been. But uh, yeah, we're going to continue to hunt on, hike down into this water hole and probably sit for the majority of the day. It's really early here for elk, so they're not really talking and stuff like that, but um, we're going to hunt it hard for the next three days, so hopefully we can turn up some elk. There's lots of good sign. We've been smelling them all day. Um, I expect it to get hotter here pretty soon, so we're going to try to get on that water hole.
The woods were absolutely silent. I remember thinking to myself in the moment, I can't believe this is about to play out. You tell yourself every hunt that it's going to go like this, that you show up and good things will happen. For us, things were going exactly the way they were supposed to. I'll tell you what, hunting's a funny thing. Mark said it best, you go from the highest of highs to the lowest of lows, and you know, we go from what I thought was a miss. You know, I just heard my arrow hit something on the other side of her. Assuming I shot high and go down there and, <clears throat> you know, kind of follow that trail and blood everywhere. And we followed blood. Oh, a hundred yards and it just got super sparse. Um, just followed the right trails and found a few spots, but just hadn't been able to uh, turn up anything, which sucks. They're such tough freaking animals. I guess my only thought is, you know, I, I knew I shot a little bit high. And I mean, we, we know we had lung blood. I mean, there was just big poofs of foam, but, um, yeah, they're tough. They're so freaking tough. So, the search continues. Um, I will keep looking a little bit more, but we have been, uh, we've been looking for about two hours now. Or probably only, what, 200 yards from where we shot her? Maybe. One more. So, any hoodles. That's bow hunting. Still love it. Hope that cow's okay and we're gonna keep hunting. Just doing the right things and trying to make the right choices. And that's all you can do. Everything else plays out the way it plays out. You just do all you can. If the dominoes fall in your favor, Yahtzee. If not, you're telling the phone that you shot and lost an elk. And that's what I'm doing right now, telling the phone that I shot and lost an elk.
highs and lows will always make the strongest memories. The feeling of the leaves on your hands, the water down your back, the disappointment of the day. You replay moments like that over and over and over and over and over in your mind until you fall asleep and wake up to do it all over again the next day. I just don't think she's going to stay in the open. If she's going to bed down, she's going to go to timber. And I came up on the top, where I knew there was elk. Looking at the top, though, I had an idea where I thought they might be. So I snuck in on top of this ridge as far as I could, and I could hear them in this stick stuff, mailing around. I waited up top for an hour, just sneaking as slow as I possibly could along the top until I could find a heavy trail come down and I just did it. I just made it happen. I'm standing right here. I was standing okay. 20 yards of that. There's two other elk with her. So three cows. We're just having terrible luck. It's pouring down the rain right now. I'm worried about losing all my blood. I'm not getting my hopes up yet. I had a little bit of an emotional rush up there and got choked up. But I'm not getting my hopes up because these animals are tough and we just not have we haven't been having much luck on that end with Matt's elk and the amount of blood. And I only shot that elk maybe 15 minutes ago, so I don't I don't want to get on it. But I'm also afraid of using losing my blood. I mean it's such a big country out here like a slight drizzle, I guess, so. I don't know what to even do right now. I really don't to gather my thoughts and come up with a game plan and hopefully we find her. So, I decided to go with my gut, regardless of the rain. It was a good hit. She didn't go far. I'm not gonna rush things just based off of that. I'm going to stick to what I know, and that is give it time, give the elk time. If it was far less than ideal, it was 25 yards, I ranged it. I absolutely smoked her. I, I watched that arrow bury right behind the front shoulder, about mid-body. There's no reason I didn't take both lungs. She took off down the hill with three others, and there was an abnormal crash. Could have been her, could have been just a group of them hitting something. Uh, I'm not sure, but even I, I did check for low blood, couldn't find any blood, which doesn't really alarm me any. Um, so, regardless if the rain washes the blood away, as long as we 
head in the direction she went. Once I get the guys and, and really good search it, if it was a lethal hit, I'm confident she's dead within 100 yards. Patience of virtue, the miles we walk to find our way. Maps through the mountains, the seasons in constant changing days. We burn thoughts to memories, these visions, reds on browns and gray. I'm just the passenger of the only road I've known to pay. So we go on faith, taking each step in the way to finding the obstacles cure, constantly seeking what life is for, never shutting down, missing the views of this town that lie the adventurers cost, we who wander are never Say you'll miss me when I'm gone And all that's left are stories and songs Say you'll miss me when I'm gone All that's left are stories and songs Obstacles cure, constantly seeking what life is for. Never shutting down, missing the views of this town that lie the adventurer's cost. We who wander are never Seeing the successes of a close friend only motivates you further. And though we were only two miles from camp, like the embers from the morning's fire, we were frozen in place. It's an amazing thing to follow in people's footsteps. Whether it be someone you look up to, a close friend, a father figure, they shape your path. And so on a hunt like this, in that moment, circling around the side hill, we just prayed for an opportunity of redemption.
She was coming up behind these trees. I was like, she's got to go left and right. So I put a position myself and I found a hole. If she goes to the right, I'm going to find it. And I stopped her in that chance. And she went left. And I went left and she started to stood up. As you can see, she was in the middle of the bike. She was in the middle of the bike. She was in the middle of the bike. She came to the pole. I just came through that way. She took her first step and she stopped. And there was a pole right there. And I could see a spot. And I just went boom, boom, boom. Dear kind and gracious Heavenly Father, we're so grateful on this glorious morning for the opportunity to be here on your earth and for uh, the opportunity to be here as friends and brothers and enjoy all your creations. Thank you so much for this elk and thank you for a swift and uh, ethical kill. Thank you for helping her rest easy and please help us Heavenly Father that we will make the best of the situation that no one needs to meet with Please help us to always cherish these memories, to always give thanks for all that we have, and remember that these are huge blessings in our lives, and to always give you thanks, and always recognize you in, in all that we do, and all that we see, and, and act on. Thank you so much for everything, for this wonderful experience. Please bless this animal, bless all the other animals, and we say these things in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.